Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to AI War Classic Doomed Failure Edition. Okay, so this is going to be a very quick game because, as I mentioned at the end of the last series, this is just the worst possible settings you can use, turning the impossible up to the max. You know, the best players can win on difficulty 10, but not on the settings I'll be using. So, first of all, what are we doing here? Everything's set to 10. We'll get to that in a minute. We've got a resource handicap, negative 300%, and we've maxed theirs out at positive 300%. You can't go any higher than that or lower on the bottom end. And then, of course, they're both difficulty 10 with the brutal AI types. We have technologist AIs get higher mark level ships. That makes them tougher, a lot tougher in, its, in and of itself. And then the sledgehammer sends extra large waves. That's combined with the core, which gives them smaller amounts of ships, but everything's Mark V. Everything's core ships. Then we have the technologist Parasite, Advanced Parasites, somewhat higher attack, and Vicious Exotic with the Exo Waves that it sends. And that may actually take them a while to start going, I don't know, but probably shouldn't take that long in difficulty 10. Okay, so basically, I'm just giving the AI every advantage to smash us as much as possible. Then we got the crosshatch map type. Because of all the different connections, what direction they attack us from is not going to be a predictable factor either. Okay, so ships. Everything, naturally. Game options set to normal. And then AI options. Now, this is the one that would kill me if this stuff didn't already. Maximum AI progress increments are 250 every 5 minutes. And clearly, by the time even one of those ticks off, we're going to be screwed beyond belief. That's just the way it's going to be. We've got 10 nomad planets floating around to cause us even more headache. Spirecraft on hard. Uh, civilian leaders are on. All of the golem types on hard. Not that we're actually going to be able to get any golems. It just promotes more exo waves if we hang around long enough to even see them, which I highly doubt. Dyson Sphere on 10. And the Colony Rebellions on 10, which will tend to boost your AI progress pretty quickly if you don't find them, which of course, I mean, I very much doubt I'm even going to have any chance of getting off my home system. Then we have the Schizophrenic and doubling the AI waves, which we will not be warned about and which will be cross-planet waves, so we won't know where they're coming from. Then we have the plots. They're both set to the same, both AIs. Avengers on, Hives to the max, Astro Trains to the max. I, I never did a game focusing on Astro Trains. But on this setting, like, I expect within minutes to have horrible trains showing up in my homeworld. Uh, beachheads, I don't know how that syncs with cross-planet waves, but if we get hit by a beachhead, we're totally, I mean, it's going to end quickly. The Hunter uh, is going to ensure that we don't ever go anywhere. The shark's not going to matter because we're not going to conquer any planets that we could afford to lose but they're on there anyway, counter post warp relays, and more of their reinforcements going into preemption as many as possible. In the last game, that only caused us a minor headache because we had it on 4 or 10, just meant that the threat was gradually escalating up. Not going to be so gradual in this case. So, yes, let's get this nightmare underway, shall we? And we shall begin in Plulikil. Yeah, we don't need to see that journal. We've seen it before. Okay, we are here with all of these different connections. So somehow, I have to try to defend against all of these at once. We're going to get hit who knows when. Yeah, th this is not going to end well. We're going to have minutes. But we do have a whole bunch of these. Let's take a look at how much energy we actually have. Okay. We have 74. We have 74 metal income. <laughs> uh, so once we blow through this, that's pretty much it. I've got to provide the best defense I can with that amount of metal. Okay, the defensive plan, such as it is, is in place. And we've got a little bit of research done. Let's take a look. It's only going to come in slowly from this. But I did unlock the hardened force field. I went ahead and grabbed the military 
Mark II because we'll get our substation, which will give us a 50% bonus to our attacking. Thought about going and investing in some metal since we're so low on it. But I think I'm not going to do that yet. I probably, like that would probably be the next step I would take. So maybe I want to go to the metal harvester once we get this knowledge research if we survive that long. Could have been a mistake. I'm not sure. So missile silo, we're definitely going to want to grab a warhead or two. And then I'm building, a, surrounding us with long, long range turrets. Missile, sniper, and spider. Because there's no point in using a bunch of mines on the wormholes. Because there's so many of them. They're going to come at it from any direction. So long range ships in the middle with all of our counter sniper that I unlocked. Grav 2, mark turrets unlocked. That's the best option that I see here. I'm just going to unpause this. Not worrying about building up any engineers, because I think that's going to be sort of irrelevant with the amount of metal that we're going to have. We're going to churn through it plenty fast enough anyway. And we're not going to survive long. I just want to survive as many waves as I can, which might very well be zero of them. But nonetheless, particularly when, I mean, they've got Mark IV to start with just hilarious. So... I'm building modestly, and again, there's our uh, hardened force field, just to keep some semblance of protection in here. There we go. Now we've used just over half. So let's go for another round. Let's throw up another, uh, another hardened force field generator. And then I'm going to throw up also more groups of the turrets around my perimeter here. And the more of this we can get up before they show, the better. And if we get through these, I also did unlock the heavy beam cannons. So if we get through these and can build more, then I think I would go in that general route. You know what, let's just let this go. I should have five more spider and sniper. So I need five more sniper over there. That group's fine. Did I miss a spider down here? Is that why? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. And now we're going to run out of metal. And I don't think... It's going to be very few minutes before we start getting hit. Has to be. And there goes our metal. So what we have is what we're getting for a while here. Now we just got to wait for them to show up. Ah, look, an Astro Train. That took about three minutes. And... Something in that totally screwed up our energy system. It like we're out of energy. We get a brown out. Beautiful. Let's matter of fact. Let's pause this. Let's see what we have. Okay, they got an attack booster. Artificial gravity jammer. Nice. Repairs. Cargo trains. Supply interdictor. Okay, that's what's doing it. It's destroying our supply. Planet wide tachyon coverage and director <laughs> chammer. <laughs> so thankfully, it's just moving on through and uh, we get to do various things. Something else came in here for a second. And now we're back up. Okay. So we survived that. We have survived three and a half minutes of this. But we still have to build all of this fun stuff. And that's going to be taking a while. <laughs> Look at that. There's our first exo wave from Vicious Exotic. We've gotten our AI progress boost. The first one. 187 massive AI ships. Two okay. Yeah, here we go. This is about to be over. 
We Yes. <laughs> Good grief. Let's just pause and see what this uh what this did. Hmm. Um Spirecraft all over the place. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So uh yeah. Six minutes and twenty seconds, ladies and gentlemen. So if you didn't, re if you didn't uh, know, if you thought that the highest difficulty on AI War Classic was winnable, here's a little sample. Because I mean, there are different things I could have done. There's nothing I could have done that would, would that would stop this. Not a darn thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this brief demonstration, wrapping up my trials and travails in AI War Fleet Command. May come back to it eventually if there's enough interest in it. My impression is that people have had enough of it on the channel, but if you disagree, let me know. Let me know what kind of setting you'd like to see. And I'll have a new and quite different series coming up soon. Thanks for watching, everybody.